Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a declutter and organization of my hallway closet. It was a disaster and I just wanted to get this done. This is also a collaboration with the wonderful Katie from KKB Shorts. She will be doing her decluttering closet organization video as well, so stop by her channel. I hope you guys like our videos. Let's get started. All right guys, here's a quick clip of the before. I just did this on my cell phone and I didn't even do it sideways, so it's kind of small, but you get the idea. So this is what I'm working with. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking everything out of this area and obviously wiping it all down and rearranging. So let's jump right in. just have like a fan a heater my camera bag and like an extra a blow-up mattress anyway and then here this is gonna bug me. here I just have like utility stuff that we like don't use a lot but like household things and then I have all of our like birthday stuff bows bags and then like paper and some bigger bags over there and then on this level, I have our like command hooks and like just things to like yeah, command hooks, like little tab things, you know, just like these kinds of things. And then our batteries right here. And then this is my paper cutter. And then over here, I'm keeping like printer and paper, labels, and stuff like that to put in the printer. And then this, this is just like a cutting board. And here I have like office supply stuff, clipboards, just extra stuff, envelopes, like stuff like that. Not organized at all, but kind of collected together. Down here, I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's a catch-all, but it always ends up a catch-all, so I might just leave it like this. So, like, now it's just our Halloween costume and, like, some decorations I want to put up, but I haven't, like, put up decorations yet. So this will be clear after Halloween, so then I'll just leave it open for stuff I need to store temporarily. And then back there, I just have a bunch of, like, storage stuff. I just don't even know what to do. I might just buy, like, a bin, keep it in here. It's like I wouldn't access it all the time, so I don't know, but I need to keep it. Anyway, so that's a question mark, but you know, it's low, so you can't really tell. 
Then I have my, the only two things I keep in here now are my dust buster, like the vacuum one, and then my steam mop stays in here and then my duster is just hanging there. And then this is the main part. It looks so much better, you guys. Well, you saw this stuff was jam packed. So really excited about that. And I really love how everything turned out. Down here, I have my workout stuff um, that I'm going to keep all together. Not that I work out or anything, but I'm going to start <laughs> my yoga mat. And then down here, I have... Oh, sorry. I don't go down here a lot. I have my duster stuff, and then I also have the steam mop adapters and stuff like that in there. So I just keep that on the bottom. And then my... Um, dust buster plug is right here and there's an outlet over there so this is like the art school whatever supply area <laughs> and yeah well really quick up here I just have like storage stuff this I'm gonna keep all the kids artwork and then figure out what to do with it I'm not sure yet but I'm just I went through it already these are the ones I want to keep so I'm not sure how I'm going to keep those or whatever, but at least I'm just going to throw them in there so that it's not all over the place. And then I have like a few books. I flipped that one around because it has the town that I live in, but a few books right here that I still wanted to keep. And then up there is like bigger items that I need to like figure out a file for and figure out how to organize that. And then these are just photo books from like years ago. I just put them all in a bin together because they were all over the place. And then this little thing is all the dog stuff. Whoa. So like the leashes, brushes, stuff like that. I just kept hanging with our backpacks, my husband's and then mine. And then if the kids get like their own, I'll hang them probably here too. We'll see. And then I hung up oh, this chalkboard, which I just wrote that, but I can always change that to whatever it is. Um, maybe that we're doing a theme or something. I don't know. And then this, let me get better lighting. Okay. So uh, this is our like school stuff, I guess you could say. I'll just move the art cart. So I have, uh, I put all of their stickers together and then Zoe and Zach's workbooks. So these are like things that I've gotten for them to have workbook stuff on. I don't have a lot, but. I'm collecting and then um, these are the wipe clean books so I have those with some markers for them and um, I have a few more coming too from Usborn so that'll be cool and then all their coloring books over here which I try and recycle once they get pretty like low um, but yeah coloring books and then on this shelf is kind of just I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet but I just have some like things. There's like a rock collection. This is to make slime. So we're going to do that one day. And there's like, you know, containers for each of the kids. And then they love to look at these. Um, and then Zach wants to paint this. And I also just have their, their flash cards in here. And this is a photo book I want to do for uh, Zoe. So she has everybody's photo. And then on this level... I have the kids busy bag items that I like to like put together or like, you know, if I collect little things, I can throw them in there. So we're about to go on a road trip. So these are pretty full, but you know, I'll replenish as I go. And then we have markers, crayons, and then these boards, you guys are great. I don't know where I found these somewhere like Michael's or even maybe the dollar store. I don't know. Anyway, but the kids color on them and they keep their crayons and the crayons don't roll around and then they can keep it on here. And if they color on this, it like wipes right off. It's not a big deal. Um, and it just trains them to stay in the, on the tray and not on the walls or the table. So, um, these are great and they can be used for any, I use, I pull these out for everything, but mostly with like crayons or markers. These markers are the like clear ones that like the paper changes color. So we have a ton of those, which is fun. So I put them all together. 
so that's that and then down here is just kind of like the putty so there's play-doh and then underneath is these are just extra bags i don't know where to put it but that's like their putty i don't really do this a lot but maybe soon i don't know so that's in here and it's all blacked out so they don't see it because then they want to play with it and then these are just like puzzles and stuff um like things for them to practice and little you know games and stuff I'm, I'm gonna like use for like different days that we do things and then this is the same stuff in there and there's like foam um foam blocks and then this is their tunnel I just kept right here so I can pull it out really quick because I do like to play with this and then over here I just have this is like a miscellaneous <clears throat> craft stuff and then this is their stamps and then I just have like things that I want to use you know like manipulatives something crazy and then this is like a catch-all no idea extras kind of thing but I'm sure I'll organize this eventually or get something new and then these are cool because I'm going to be giving each of the kids one and then like the night before or week before, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'll put in all the work that I want them to do in each of these and then I can just grab this and I don't have to be fishing around for things um, extra. So I'll put in all the stuff we're doing for the day and then just clean these out each day instead of having, I don't know just a bunch of stuff so they can keep their stuff in here and I can put the papers back in here and then I can find out what I want to keep to put up there and yeah so that's that and then our, here is our art cart I got this at Michael's for 30 bucks it's kind of like the Ikea one except 20 bucks cheaper and I don't know the difference in size but um, this is a perfect size for us if it was any bigger I don't know if I would it wouldn't even fit so Anyway, um, this top shelf just has, you know, the obvious. I put like scissors and these are like these little, you know, different pattern scissors. They're Play-Doh, this is extra Play-Doh. There's Play-Doh everywhere. And then these are the dry waste uh, pockets. I get these at the dollar store, like during school time, but I'm gonna put stuff in there for the kids <clears throat> to do um, each day. And then I just have this stored in there because I don't have anything in there right now. But these will be different each day. It'll kind of relate to what we're talking about. I don't know. Something just to hang there. And then down here, I just have a bunch of craft stuff to use. Like these little puff balls, little googly eyes, glue. There's like glitter and just like a bunch of like little things. Um, and this fun string more glitter like all these little charms for like scentsy bottles and these um tissue paper things these are buttons buttons and then feathers right here and then obviously these pipe cleaners and then i'm going to use this for a fall craft so i just kept that in the container and then these things I got at the dollar store as well. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but I thought they were cute and they're magnetic. So that's cool. Then down here I have all their paints. I got them new paint. Um, this metallic one is new. And then these are puffy paints, fabric markers, a tarp. So if we all do paint, I could just put the tarp out and they can sit on it either outside or inside or wherever we do it. And I got these paints for them. Zach likes these kind. These are markers for the window that they like to do. And then I just put like miscellaneous montage and some other paints that my friend had given me. I just kept in here as well. And oh, they're watercolors that need, we need a new one, but hey, whatever. So that is our art cart, but yeah. So this is kind of what it turned out like. Obviously it's a you know, projects. So I'm sure I'll be changing stuff around, especially little things. I don't know, you know, this area, I'm not sure what to do there. So. All right, guys, that concludes the hallway closet declutter and organization. I hope you enjoyed this video and it motivated you to get some of your own projects done. Please stop over at Katie's channel. She is going to be having a hallway closet declutter and organization as well. And if you need a little more motivation, then stop by her channel and give hers 
a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And I thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.